I know I said I'd stay off YouTube for a couple days, but I'm a little bit better now. <clears throat> I know it doesn't sound that way, <clears throat> but I actually am. And so I decided I was going to make another stick shift video. Well, how to drive a stick shift. First, the vehicle is not on, but the keys are in the ignition. Clutch pedal in. Whether the vehicle's in gear or not, the clutch pedal has to be in for this to start. If it's in gear when you start it, take it out of gear before you release the clutch pedal. Otherwise, that happens. Parking brake down. Well, this would work. There it is. All right, reverse so we can back out of our spot. shifted from reverse into first gear. I'm going to stay in first gear for a few moments because I'm exiting a parking lot right now. Let's see if I can't get this camera at a different angle. I don't think I'm going to be speaking as often as I did in previous videos like this because I'm still sick. But another reason why I'm doing this video is to see how long I can actually make a video before my phone's storage starts to deplete because there's been times when I've had so much on my phone where I've tried to make a video and it cut out, actually stopped because my phone storage was full. I just really want been wanting to make a really really long video uh, for my channel because I wanted to see how long honestly how not just how long I can make a video but also I wanted to see how many views something that was really long would get I wanted to see if maybe I thought my longest video to date was like I, th I think it's been like a half hour maybe 40 some minutes I'm not sure but I know I don't I don't think I posted a solid hour long video and that's kind of what I want to do so I don't think I'll be driving for an hour though, so that's probably not going to happen. But I really, really want to start posting longer videos. Most of my content is YouTube shorts. It's not that I don't mind doing those. I mean, I really enjoy doing those, but it's just... I want to just... I want to make longer videos. I want that to be more content. I want to make more content like that. So right now, I'm in fourth gear because I'm in the town I live in. Uh, there's only one spot really in town that you can uh, get up to fifth gear in this type of vehicle. As I've said in previous videos, it's a 2.3 liter, four cylinder, five speed, which means zero to 10 miles an hour is first gear. 10 to 20 second gear, 20 to 30 is third gear, 30 to 40 is fourth gear, and anything really above 40 miles an hour is fifth gear. Uh, now, I have skipped gears in videos before. I've also skipped gears without, you know, while not recording a video. You can do that, you just have to know how to do it. I've gone from like, I will, I have not, in one video, I went from first to third to fifth just to see if I could do it. I don't think I posted. There was one time I remember actually starting in second gear, taking off, and then driving getting up fast enough to where I was able to shift directly into fourth gear. I think I've only done that 
once, maybe twice in life. I don't think I've done that for a YouTube video, but I don't plan on doing it for this one. I downshifted into third gear because the speed limit goes from 40 to 30 back there. So I downshifted so that I could go, I could slow down without hitting the brake. And as I've said before, there's three ways of stopping and or slowing down in a stick shift. The first and most simple way, in my opinion, is to shift into neutral and hit the brake. The second is to simultaneously push the clutch pedal and the brake pedal in. And the third and most advanced in my eyes is to downshift, which is what I just did, but I only downshifted to slow down. Uh, no, a while back, I do believe I've said this, mentioned this at least once in a video before, I test drove a V8, <coughs> a V8 five-speed and that thing was that was just that was extremely intimidating to me i just i don't get me wrong i had fun in it because i had a friend of mine with me but uh that was just too much car for me maybe if i become a you know wealthy or financially wealthy through youtube i'll be able to buy a car like that and try it out again but as of right now this is enough car for me. Uh, you know, I test drove that V8 and the uh, speeds were different in the gears because it had more horsepower because it was a V8. This is a four cylinder. And so it was just, it was a little bit different. You know, and I also, there was also a time where I was driving a uh, V6 that was a stick shift, and that, again, the uh, different times to shift were slightly different than this car. It also depends on the size of the engine because, uh, well, depends on two things, or multiple things, sorry, not just two things. It depends on multiple things as to when you shift in different vehicles. So many different vehicles out there are stick shift. There's V6, there's inline six, there's four cylinder, there's uh, V8, obviously. Um, now I have, there's also different types, different sizes and all those different ones. Like I said, this is my third stick shift vehicle that I've ever had. First vehicle I had was a 2.3 liter four cylinder five speed. It was a Honda Accord. The second vehicle I had was another Honda, but it was a Honda Civic and it was 02. And it was a 1.9 liter engine, but it was still four cylinder five speed. Now it was slightly different in terms of shifting it was uh because in the uh on the accord the uh i said earlier that it was this car is first gear is zero to ten second gear is 20 to third or 10 to 20 third gear is 20 to 30 fourth gear is 30 to 40 and then anything above 40 miles an hour is fifth gear well that honda civic it was slightly different because it was a smaller engine it was also a time where I didn't test drive it, but I was looking at a, uh, I can't remember, it was like an 07 Honda Civic Si or SE or something. It was, it was like a 1.6 or 1.7 liter engine, but it was a six speed. I've never driven a six speed before, but I'm assuming that the gear ratios will be different. Because not only is it a smaller engine, but it's also more, there's more in this. There's one more speed in this the shifter than there is in my car. But the reason I was actually in a parking lot is because I was picking up a few things from the store when I started this video. But the uh, same thing goes, I've said this before, that when you are starting to learn how to drive a stick shift, my my personal opinion, my personal suggestion is to start in a parking lot. That's how I started. I was in a parking lot for probably close to 10 minutes before I took to the open road. And when I say open road, I, I didn't start out. Yes, I started out on city streets, but it was open, more open than what I'm currently in. Right now, I'm kind of like in a 
downtown type of area. I'm here soon. I'm going to be able to shift into fifth gear because I'm going to be on more of a country road. Start out in an empty parking lot if you can, and then uh, take to a more open road, not, not a city road, but an open road, so you can learn how to shift and downshift and, you know, learn how, learn what speeds are where. Keep an eye on your RPMs is, the, is one thing you need to take into consideration because in the uh, in this car, the RPM, you want to shift between, in any stick shift vehicle, you want to shift between two and 3,000. Now, it, it's, how do I say this? It's when you get into fifth gear and you're on the interstate in this car, the RPMs are going to be above 2,500 or even above 3,000. Well, when you get to skip gears, your RPMs will most likely be above 3,000. That's okay. You don't want to get it too high, but at the same time, when you're shifting, it's you want to shift. General rule is between two and 3,000 RPMs. So you can keep an eye on it. Right now, I'm getting, you know, I was in fourth gear doing 40 miles an hour. RPMs were at 2,500. I shifted into fifth gear so I could get up to 45 miles an hour, which is what I'm at now. And the RPMs are at 2,000. Here soon, I'm going to be doing above 45, and I guarantee you the RPMs will probably reach above 3,000. And I also wanted to send a shout out. I wish I could remember the names of the people that did this, but a few days ago when I was sick, still am sick, but a few days ago when I was in real just terrible shape and I didn't feel like uploading at all, I did make a little like one minute long video telling people that I was going to be able to upload for a little bit. I was going to take a break from YouTube uh, so I could focus on getting to feeling better. And at least two, maybe three people, that video got um, a good amount of views, uh, but it mainly, I was extremely appreciative of the fact that I had multiple people comment on that video telling me to get better soon, or something along those uh, words, you know, something along those lines. People were commenting, telling me they hope I get the feeling better, you know, hang in there. So I greatly appreciate the people that did that. And like I said, I wish I could remember who it was so I could send him a personal shout out, but I, at the moment I can't. Right now I'm in fifth gear, going down a country road, and I'm doing above 50, and my RPMs are at 8,000. I won't say how much above 50 I'm doing, but I'm doing above 50. But in that, I guarantee you, in that V8, uh, it was a V8 Challenger <coughs> that I test drove with a friend of mine last year. But I had the opportunity, I felt comfortable and had the opportunity to take that onto an open road and do, you know, 50 to maybe even 60 miles an hour. I guarantee you I probably wouldn't have that. I don't think I, honestly, I don't know a whole lot about him, but I don't think I would have even had to be in fifth gear. Maybe I would have. I don't know. I've, in terms of stick shift vehicles, I've driven three that were four cylinder, one that was a V6, and one that was a V8. The most intimidating of those was the V8. I said that earlier. Never driven an inline six up, but I have. There's been a couple of those that I've seen here and there that I really would like to drive, but never had the opportunity. Not long ago, I actually got into a, uh, I test drove a little four cylinder, five speed uh, Ford Ranger. Well, I'm sorry, that wasn't, that wasn't a Ford Ranger. It was a Chevy S10, I'm sorry. Test drove that. I. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it, but uh, I don't know how it was designed this way, but it actually didn't have a parking brake, and it kind of, that threw me off a little bit. 
when I went to, to go test drive it, the parking brake light was on, but the, there was no parking brake. That's why I didn't get it. I had the opportunity to, pop, to purchase that, and I didn't. It's kind of funny. I was actually thinking about buying that because my at the time, I posted a couple of videos of this. One was getting uh, in the car, and the other one was getting out of the car. My driver's side front door malfunctioned. It was not opening, so I was having to climb across, open, unlock all the doors, and climb across the parking brake and shift to get in this car. And I was tired of doing that, so I thought about trying to you know, sell this car and get something else or trade it in for some, towards something else. But luckily, a friend of mine helped me in that situation, and I don't have to. I don't want to get rid. Of, I don't have to get rid of this car. I kind of don't want to either because it's only got 147,000 miles, which is low for an 07. Well, to some people, that's low for an 07. And I know I'm not talking as much about driving this car as I normally do or normally try to do in these videos, but that's honestly because I've posted 10 videos on how to drive a stick shift. And honestly, I don't know. The first video I posted was only like four minutes long, three or four minutes long, and people were asking questions about it. I posted another few videos and people stopped asking so many questions. The other big reason is the biggest reason is because the last video I posted that was like part 10 or you know, the 10th video on how to drive a stick shift it only got like two views I think it didn't get very many views so yes a part of the reason I'm making this video is to just do another video and seeing how many views it'll get the biggest reason I'm making this video is to see how long I can make it because I want to see how I want to see if I make like an hour long video like I said earlier if it'll get a lot of views or if I just need to stick to more YouTube shorts like I have been really been trying to get my YouTube channel to grow and it's been growing very consistently and very steadily uh, I believe I'm at 579 subscribers last time I checked and I'm extremely grateful for that if I could put a few zeros behind that number and get like, you know, 50,000 or 500,000 or something like that, which I know it'll take a while if it ever even happens. But as I said, I made my YouTube channel for fun, but I am trying to get it to uh, grow so I can be a full-time YouTuber and do more content like the uh, range stuff and the uh, Blue River Airpark stuff. And uh, the animal videos, some people like those, some people don't, it just depends. Sorry about that, I was just trying to move the camera. I don't know why, but somebody just, oh, I think somebody just brake checked me. I was going to downshift. I'm still considering that because I'm coming up on a stop sign here in another probably quarter mile. However, I'm the reason I'm second guessing it is because there is a vehicle behind me. And I told you guys in previous videos, I don't like to downshift when there's a vehicle behind me because you don't when you downshift, they don't see brake lights. I'm going to shift into neutral though. I'll slowly glide because I'm doing 60. I've said in previous videos I don't like to downshift into fourth gear unless I'm doing 55 or under. Okay, there we go. Downshifted from fourth to uh, from fifth to fourth. Actually, I didn't downshift from fifth to fourth. I downshifted from neutral to fourth. But I was doing 55 mile an hour, and that's fifth gear in this car. I'm 
very sorry. I don't know how long that camera that's been like that. Probably when I got brake checked. Now I'm in third. Now I'm shifting to second. Vehicle slows down by itself. I will not downshift into first, even for a video, as I don't feel it's necessary. And I've also said this before. I have done it for YouTube videos, I believe, but uh, I don't like to skip gears. Which is what I'm about to do for the video as well. First, second, third. I don't like is to skip gears uh, if I'm in first gear. Either. Okay, I do enjoy skipping gears at certain points. I don't like to skip gears very often. And when I do skip gears, I don't go from first to third to fifth. I only did that for video, but I go from first to second. And if I decide to skip gears, I'll go from second to fourth, the fourth to fifth, or the other way I'll do it is first to second, third to fifth. downshift I do not downshift into first and I also I only downshift into fourth when I hit 55 mile an hour at or less Darn it, I told you guys I was going to skip gears and I didn't, uh, so let me just slow down. I'll slow down into third gear, and that way I can go from third to fifth. But it's only for the video. So I'm in third gear now. That's all that is. I literally slowed down to 30 mile an hour. Shifted into third gear, sped up to 42 miles an hour, and shifted it back into fifth gear. How long was this video so far? I have no idea. It's only a little over. I know I just pointed the uh, phone up my nose. It's only over 23 minutes. I'm not sure how long my longest video is. I'd have to look. I know I said I was going to try to make this as long as possible, but honestly, I'm just. I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna just kind of relax because I'm still not feeling the greatest. I don't know if I'll upload this today or if I'll upload this sometime later down the road when I'm feeling better. <coughs> like I said, I am a lot better than I was a couple days ago and I greatly appreciate the people that commented on my video when I told everyone I was gonna take a break. And I did want it, I wanted it to take a little bit longer break than a couple days, but Honestly, the desire to post more content and try to get my channel to grow more was just too enticing. So thank you to everyone again who watched this. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more. Because like I said, I do a very broad range of content. I do stick, how to drive a stick shift vehicle videos. I do uh, range videos. I do um, animal videos. I do tour of air park. I do, I, my content is very broad. So if you like a broad range of content, please subscribe. I'll talk to everyone very soon.